Dozens of Valley veterans are on the trip of a lifetime as part of the 24th Central Valley Honor Flight. The group left for Washington, D.C. this morning. Action News reporter Amanda Aguilar shows us the ceremonial send-off for the heroes at Fresno Yosemite International and what's next on their journey. The one thing beyond anything else that we want you to hear this week is thank you. Thank you for serving our country. Appreciation for our Valley veterans filled Fresno Yosemite International Airport Monday morning. A feeling many aren't used to. We're appreciated a lot more and it, it really hurt at that time and so uh, today uh, there's so much honor given to us now that it, it's unreal. I was in the first group that came back and basically I was the only one at the airport. Um, nobody even knew I came back. Marine Corps veteran Marshall Sparza served in the Vietnam War from 1964 to 1968 as a reconnaissance scout. On this cover of Life magazine, Sparzis is seen helping a Marine hit by a sniper. We were running out of ammunition, so we had to come to the quickest source to get ammunition to go back out. Uh, and that happened. Sparzis is one of 68 veterans on the 24th Central Valley Honor Flight. It's a three-day trip to Washington, D.C. The group will visit multiple monuments honoring them, such as Iwo Jima, the Korean and Vietnam memorials. I'm just looking forward to taking in everything that's been. This, the whole idea is a real blessing for me. And new this year, the National Museum of the U.S. Army and the U.S. Capitol. We were invited by the Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, to go to the Capitol. So the other congressmen will be there, the other Valley congressmen will be there to help us. And uh, they're going to give us a VIP, uh, VIP tour of uh, the Capitol. Prior to boarding, the group remembered those who didn't make it back home. The Honor Flight is truly a trip of a lifetime, and it's not possible without the Valley's generosity. Since 2013, the all-volunteer organization has taken 1,599 veterans to their memorials at no cost. What you did in your example, you've brought us all together. The group returns home on Wednesday around 6 p.m. The community is invited to welcome them back, a proper and well-deserved homecoming for our hometown heroes. Amanda Aguilar, ABC 30 Action News.